Hello friends, it's Jana. Today, I am doing another repotting video and this time is this Euphorbia monadinium Richie variegata. I am so afraid to water this plant friends because I'm so afraid for it to rot or anything else that could happen this plant so I barely watered it. I got this plant probably two months ago and I still did not get the chance to repot this and today is the day that I'm gonna see what the roots look like in this plant. I am so afraid to touch this plant friends repotting wise because um, it is so pretty. I didn't want to repot it. I just want to leave it in here, but I have not seen any progress on this plant and today is the day to see what is underneath here. So, all right, now I see the roots. It looks like it is very thirsty and dry, friends. So, we are going to rep- Ah, I see the little baby. A little baby right here. Nice. I got two babies, so that's nice to know. Well, what I'm gonna do is reuse this beautiful looking potting soil still. So I'm not gonna do anything to throw this away. This is the same um, soil that I'm going to use today. So I got my pot. I'm gonna grab my pot and put some of the potting soil in there. So I actually already added some um, succulent soil on my pot, but then now I think I have enough to um, add in here. So let me just grab this thing here and add it in here. I hope I am doing the right thing because this is a really good mixture of soil friends and this is happy inside this um, soil so why not use it right so let me just do this here okay it's dusty very dusty so i'm gonna use that here back in here now it's in this terracotta pot so I don't have to worry about it rotting or anything because they're gonna be okay in here. It is fast draining soil too, so really good. And I'm hoping for this to thrive. So this has got a lot of, of perlite in a mixture of I don't know friends if you know if you know what this wax let me know friends because this is actually the only potting um, soil the only plant that I have that came with this type of a potting soil so let me know where to get those because I like that one it is colorful it's beautiful I'm gonna do it over here on the side. Okay. That's it. Okay, so it looks like it is going to be happy in here or I couldn't find my stick. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I can't find it. All right, here. So now, I know what I'm working on now and I know that this is not going to get rotten but I am thinking of actually adding a little bit of succulent soil in here because it actually gets so dry in my area so I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of succulent soil in here I'm just gonna add it in the pot here I'm just gonna grab some of them because I think it would help it a little bit more for moisture because I want it to get so dry so we're just gonna do that all right even got some rock on my soil so I'm just gonna mix it a bit and 
see if we could have more going in there. It does get so dry in my area, especially when it comes to summer, friends. It gets very hot. And I don't know, but Florida is just so unpredictable. Last spring, we had a lot of rain and it killed a lot of my plants. And tell me about Eonium, friends. I am so devastated. I bought so much Eonium um, last year or a year before that too and they are gone they're gone so I didn't even want to look at Eoniums right now because I am so devastated and man those Eonium plants are so beautiful but they don't like my area I need to find out where I'm gonna put some eoniums when it comes to that weather. Probably not put it outside on the very hot sunny side in my area even though it's east side but some of my east side gets a lot more sun where I added my eonium and they are not happy. So all right this is it so far. I like seeing that baby popping out in there. So I'm gonna add my top dressing on this that way it will look pretty and the other um, soil will not pop out too when I water it so I like it cleaner looking and white on top in here the way I can see um, what's crawling <laughs> if there's something crawling bug wise whatever they are I can easily get them out and know exactly what is down there okay well you'll see a lot of the other rocks that are popping in there that were pretty but okay let's just cover it for now and it'll be all white and they're still popping let me get this one here this is just some wood chips all right well friends this is it let me blow that away that way it will look so pretty and I will show you also my other euphorbia. I did a video earlier, a few days ago, about another euphorbia. But the same time I bought this is I got this. And, of course, I have not repotted this one too. So, it hasn't shown a lot of, um, what you call this leaves but if you could see what is that going on here so like a cobweb or what is that oh no i don't know what that one is but it was dangling out there i couldn't see it clearly but this is the same leaves that it has still friends so okay well hasn't have any much growth in here yet but the spot that it come with in the soil looks like it's okay i just watered it today too and it is very well draining soil so i just keep it in the same pot that i have with a wallet and keep it in this ikea pot of course and just let it sit for now until it shows more growth because it is happy so far so this one is the only one that i just decided to repot for now and let me clean it up all right friends well it is finally done and cleaned up as much as i could well i am so happy to see this little tiny baby right here i didn't even know this exists until i repotted it today so i am excited for that little guy right there and also this little baby i cannot wait for this to grow and now i am able to water them without having to worry about what it looks down there again just like my other plants that i repotted because i'm so afraid to water them not knowing what the root look like so now i know now we can water them and confidently gonna be feeling okay <laughs> well friends this is it for now i hope you enjoyed watching happy planting bye bye